could excess estrogen in your body be causing cystic acne breakouts? Yeah. So today I'm going to be sharing all about how estrogen dominance may be contributing to cystic acne for you. Plus I'm going to be sharing three action steps you can take to support estrogen clearance. Every week I share everything I know about how to get you clear and glowing skin naturally. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So what is estrogen dominance and how does it impact your acne? So estrogen when in balance is a really wonderful hormone for us lady folk okay it gives us the lady packs it gives us my boston came out it gives us our periods it pr supports the production of serotonin it helps with bone loss it's a really good hormone to have when in balance when out of balance and or not adequately balanced by its counterpart progesterone that's when we start to run into some problems and when you start to get some cystic acne. So question for you, do you have any of the following items? Do they sound like you at all? Do you have breast tenderness before your period, mood swings, depression, anxiety? Do you struggle with weight retention? Do you, <laughs> weight retention so you like your face gets kind of like puffy before your period and or throughout the month? Do you have headaches? Do you find that you get crazy cravings? Do you have cramping? Do you have a decreased sex drive? Yeah. If you answered yes to four or more of those, you might be struggling with some estrogen dominance. So let's talk about three action steps you can take to start to support support the clearance of estrogen from your body. So here are three action steps you can take if you think you're struggling with some estrogen dominance. And again, if you answered yes to four or more of those questions I just asked, and or you have cystic acne on your jawline, this could definitely be you. So step number one is to add in a two to three workouts at least a week. Okay. You need to support your basic pathways of detoxification by supporting your lymphatic system. So we have lymph nodes everywhere throughout our body, right? And I read it once in one of my nutrition courses. And basically the professor said that the lymphatic system is amazing, except for the fact that it doesn't have a pump. And so what that means is like we have these lymph nodes and they're designed to remove bad things, but unfortunately, there's the only mechanism to get those lymph nodes moving is working out and sweating. So it's really important that you do that weekly to remove excess estrogen in your body. Step number two in supporting estrogen dominance and or the lessening of it is to add in a big serving of cruciferous vegetables daily. So cruciferous vegetables are awesome because they support this process called hydroxylation. So hydroxylation gets rid of fats and turns them into water soluble compounds to be excreted. So basically hydroxylation supports detoxification and cruciferous vegetables supports support hydroxylation. Some yummy vegetables that you can try are kale, arugula, bok choy, um, broccoli, asparagus. Those all fall under that category. Step number three in supporting some estrogen dominance natural healing is to check out bitter herbs like dandelion tea. I have a video on dandelion tea. You can check that out via the link below. But bitter herbs are going to help jumpstart the production of bile and or the excretion of accumulated toxic waste in your body. And that's really important if you're struggling with estrogen dominance and most likely means that estrogen isn't leaving your body the way it should. And so when you consume things like bitter herbs via things like milk thistle, which is a supplement, or dandelion tea, which is just a tea you can buy at the store, you'll start to support your body's natural pathways of detoxification and as a result, remove hopefully excess estrogen. So now that you have these three action steps to start to support estrogen dominance and or the natural healing of it, would you like more hormonal acne support? If so, I have a download available via the link below that shares nine hormonal acne supplements. Again, always check with your doctor, I am not one, that you can check out if you're struggling with acne and you need some extra support. Also, if you want to join a safe, private, empathetic community of people struggling with these same exact things as you are, make sure to join our Facebook group via the link below as well. If you liked this video, if it gave you more insight, I'd love for you to comment below with starting today because I wanna support you and if you're gonna take action on one of these steps to support estrogen dominance and or the natural healing of it, I would love to support you and I'd love to know if you're going to take some action. 
Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one. Talk soon.